what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the rise and fall of wwe uh i'm guessing it's like a fan made trailer we're gonna check it out man someone has sent it to me in the dms so we're gonna see what it's all about appreciate all the love and support road to 30k man it's it's still surreal to even be saying that like you guys are amazing you guys have been showing a lot of love and support on the previous videos best believe those who want to check out some call of duty content i actually will be dropping some this week so stay tuned to that let's get into it <clears throat> started as a small regional promotion company soared to amazing heights and popularity now oh wow i got hit with it oh okay. got hit with the ad and the ugly oh no <laughs> Fans wanted something else. They still loved pro wrestling, but they didn't want what Vince McMahon was really giving them. That's when you saw like the real side of, hey, this guy's got a million ideas. Ten of them are genius. The rest of them are terrible, and he doesn't know the difference. <laughs> this is this is dope. This is hella dope. Not gonna lie to you, how they put this together. This is dope. <laughs> changing week in and week out for the sake of hey we have a title change hey we have a title change after the third one the title change doesn't mean anything Facts. there was no direction you could see it deteriorating <laughs> right in front of our faces i think fans are the most loyal fans in the world till you slap them in the face and they're embarrassed to watch it facts man i'm keeping a buck with you guys man wwe it's one of those things, it's like a love-hate relationship with a lot of people. A lot of people don't even want to admit that they watch it. Facts. Because it's it's so hokey at times. Like, for example, how can you explain to someone that Rey Mysterio, which a lot of people that used to watch wrestling know who he is, you tell them, oh, Rey Mysterio is having a match at Extreme Rules. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I know who Rey Mysterio is. Who he's facing? He's facing Seth Rollins. I mean, I don't know who he is, but you know, I'm, I'm, I know who Rey is, so I'm interested. Now you tell them the stipulation of the match. It's an eye for an eye match. So they're like, wait, what do you? What's an eye for an eye match? Well, you have to take out the other opponent's eye to win. And they instantly look at you like, what? That's that's what? That doesn't even what? Can they even show that on TV? And then you show them the match, and then you're like, what? Why do you watch this again? You know what I'm saying? You may even lose a friend off that shit, bro. Like, some of the cringy stuff that they put on the on the show is just ah bad. It it makes you it makes it hard for some people to be fans and to be proud to be a fan. It's crazy. You know what they do? They just turn it off. Facts. They had the money, they had the television, they had the networks, they had everything they needed, but just nobody with a clear vision or control. Facts. They couldn't manage a television show for a couple hours a week, let alone an entire wrestling. It's funny how they're talking about something else, but it relates to WWE so well. Like, look at look at this. This is just cringe. Organization. <clears throat> ratings were down wait wait Business what was the the rabbit doing hold on for a couple hours a week let alone an entire wrestling organization. bro the rabbit was humping uh, oh my god the cringe the ratings were down the business would be slow there was a sinking feeling of like okay then we've peaked this is as good as it's gonna get I want to know if they're talking about WCW. <laughs> it's so funny how the parallels compare now. So bad and so in the toilet. Oh, yeah, you can tell this is old because, you know, Dean doesn't go by his quote-unquote slave name. He goes by John Moxley now. And none of it made any sense. If you try and duplicate something that happened organically, you can only fake it so long. But it's not. <laughs> that was perfect. That cutaway was so perfect, bro. Look at look look at what Dolph Ziggler's talking about. Organically, duplicate something that happened organically. Daniel Bryan, he got over organically. This was not the plan of WWE. He got over organically. People wanted to see him win. You can only fake it so long. 
but it's not breaking any ground. And they tried to get Roman over, and it failed miserably. It's not drawing big ratings. It's not drawing fans to the arena. It's never going to be the same as the original. I was kind of hoping that they would see the shipper back around. I had no idea whether it was something planned between the parties or if it was real. I think once the lawsuit was filed, I figured that uh, there was actually some issues between them. All the ridiculous stipulation. All the Fact. shenanigans. <clears throat> That's so funny. They're talking about WCW, and this is exactly what they're doing. Oh, oh my gosh. There is only so much bad television you can watch Facts. before you stop wasting your time. The rise and fall. <laughs> this is great, man. And this came out in 2015. That is so sad. This came out in 2015, and it still applies today in 2020. Are there some good things on WWE television? Yes. But the negatives outweigh the positives. There's too many times where... You have rematches or rematches or rematches like it's it's so it's so redundant <clears throat> and what hurts wwe is not because of the talent i think they have the most talented roster that wwe has ever had is just they don't utilize them they don't utilize them correctly the fact that keith lee has come to the main roster and they changed his intro music why it worked in NXT. A lot of the stuff that happens, a lot of the wrestlers and talent they get from NXT, they come to the main roster and they either switch up their gimmick or they don't utilize them how they should be utilized or they don't even really give them the proper push they were getting like they were in NXT. Like it's it's crazy that you got Tommaso Ciampa coming out and saying, if I go to the main roster, I will retire from wrestling because he knows he goes to the main roster. He'll never be the same. It's facts. <clears throat> Tommaso Ciampa is ready for the main roster, but he'll never leave because he knows they won't book him correctly. And no matter how much Triple H has pulled, at the end of the day, it all comes down to Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon, he's going to do whatever he wants, when he wants to do it. Doesn't matter what Triple H says. So it's crazy that this is like a fake mockumentary and they're talking about WCW, but everything they're talking about applies to WWE in 2015 and it definitely applies to WWE in 2020. Hopefully the product does get better. It has glimmers of hope here and there, but keep it a buck with you. There's only certain storylines I care to watch or even care to keep track of and it shouldn't be that way i should be interested in checking out wrestlers you know you know the majority of the wrestlers but it's a handful of wrestlers i care about everybody else <clears throat> they built them up at some point and then they dropped the ball so comment down below if you agree with my sentiments on wwe being their own demise i it's one of those things where I just wish the best for the company and I, I wish things get better and maybe at some point things will get better but only time will tell so comment down below if you agree with what i'm talking about and you feel that wwe has dropped the ball on so many characters storylines and just entertainment wise they've dropped the ball you know in a lot of situations they have their moments they have their moments but for the most part they they really they fall short of what people expect from them and you know how they've been for how many ever years you know they've always been the pinnacle of wrestling for the most part in people's eyes but lately not so much but i appreciate all the love and support road to 30k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you on the next one peace